What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. This is the content we steal from Chantal that she gets so frustrated about. This video had been up for about two hours, less than 900 views, 11 comments. Let's see what the community turns this into because this is just a live stream that she made driving back home. She complains about the humidity, how full she is. The audio is awful because she doesn't have her microphone. She said they're headed back from Kuwait City. She wanted to do some post-dinner shisha, but, you know, it's too hot for them to do anything. Going outside was just like being in a sauna. And she doesn't want to go live later because, you know, she's so tired. Headed out and having dinner was just a full day for her. She's going to go home. She's editing this, as guess, as we speak, because she wants to share the food and their special date night. Sala rolls down the window, and she complains instantly about hot air hitting her in the face. And she tries to show, you know, the, the houses, the buses, and talk about how different things are there than in Canada. And she said, you know, they haven't vlogged a date night in a while. And 10 minutes in, this is very important because it's almost a 40-minute video. 10 minutes in, she says they're almost home. And Sala basically says, listen, you have to stop recording once we get close. She agrees, and she is out of breath, just sitting in the car. The chat tells her, listen, you eat out a lot. You get takeout all the time. And she says, you know, this isn't all they do. This is just one special night. The viewers basically tell her that they're tired of seeing content solely first around food. And she tells them, listen, you come to Kuwait. You try walking around. See how long you would last. Chantal, this is why this video had 900 viewers. Because you're basically telling people, listen, if you don't think that I can walk in this then you come try to walk in it. Chantal, it, it's not a country that's inoperable due to the heat. It's you that has got yourself to a weight and wearing so much of a garment that you're not comfortable. It's no one else's fault but your own. She sits there and goes over all the places they went since they started the couple's channel. And again, you know, she jokes about how much rice she ate while they were out. She says at this point she's going to do what she wants, and if you don't like it, don't watch. Sala says, you know, no one else shows their date nights because they can't afford them the same way Chantal and Sala can. Sala says they have a life. They go out. They do these things. Going out to eat and carries on about everyone else not camming up. They stop to get gas. Chantal talks about how different it is there because the hose is here. They can go to both sides of the car. After 25 minutes, someone asks, what does Sala even see in Chantal? Because honestly, there's no chemistry. None. She answers for him that she's super cute, hot, and wonderful. And Sala says that she's stunning and priceless. Well, Sala, I would beg to differ. I believe there is a price involved somewhere. She also has no clue where they are. She's trying to show things, but she's not sure what the landmarks are. The chat tells her to go look at the building that caught on fire, and she laughs about it. When the chat says, listen, you, you shouldn't exploit these things. You know, families were displaced, lives were lost. She compares it to Ground Zero, 9-11, and, and starts, you know, laughing. You know, that people visit that. that. That it's perfectly normal for people to go to sites of tragedy. And then she starts singing and laughing with Salah. This is why people don't like you, Chantal. Someone actually says a very correct statement that watching them was like being in the car with your parents. Chantal tries to move away from that comment, likely because of how accurate it is, by talking about burning her stomach on the stove. And she blames this, just a day away from being told she's going to do kung fu. She blames this on being so short that she can't reach over the stove. Her stomach got in the way, and she burnt herself on her own girth. She's showing random houses, she wants to get coffee, and then she starts whimpering because of her back when Sala goes over the speed bumps. They end up going home. We see the whole drive. And then she doesn't want to walk up to the apartment. So she literally has him drive her up to the entrance, the way a guest would, get out so she doesn't have to walk through the heat. Chantal, when you pull in, we can see people outside, like, conversing and talking. The fact that you think this is some level of heat that nothing happens in is absolutely comical. It's you justifying why you don't want to go out. It's you telling everyone that they couldn't handle heat. It's over 100 degrees here. I was outside most of the day. But then again, I don't dress up like an Eskimo 
proclaiming that I have some religion that I'm following and weigh 600 pounds. Love to know your thoughts on this. Top comments from the last video. When she does her vlog, I'll cover it as soon as I can with more commentary.